Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mahogany. Now let's get right into this lunch that I packed for my husband. Now let's get into the main course. So for dinner on this night, I had decided to make some hibachi at home. And so that's what I'm giving him for lunch. This is probably in his top five of favorites that I make. So I'm going in with some fried rice and then I'm going in with some veggies and I'm just putting some zucchini, squash, and onions. That's what we like to have with ours. And then I'm also going in with some protein. So some steak here. And y'all, if y'all are interested on how I make my steak, I do my steak the same exact way I do my steak bites. The only difference is I add soy sauce. And then I also added some shrimp. Now that that is all done, we're going to move on to the fruit. Y'all know we have to have fruit all the time. So I am going in with a mango. When I pair my fruit, I try to think about what the main course is <laughs> to see if it really goes. And honestly, y'all, I don't know. We're just going with what sounds good. And I had some mangoes in the fridge that I knew um, I needed to use. And so that's what I'm doing. So I just cut the sides off of my mango. Yes, I went in and ate the middle. <laughs> of course, you can't eat the seed, but... You know, I ate around it. So I am going and cutting my mango. I like to cut it this way. And then I like to go in with a spoon and just scoop it out. If your mango is not ripe enough, I don't think the spoon trick will work. But I do it this way all the time. If my mango is not ripe yet, you can feel it and you can tell. If it's still pretty hard, it's not ripe yet. But you don't want it to be super mushy either because then it's probably too ripe and it won't taste great. But this one was perfect. So I went ahead and scooped that out into a bowl and now I'm going in with some more additional fruit. We've had some strawberries that have been sitting in the fridge. So I definitely needed to use those. And so I'm giving him some of those and some blueberries. That's probably his top favorite fruit. I'm not a fan of blueberries, but he loves them. So now that that's all done, I just felt like it was missing something. I needed to add in something. And so I went with some yogurt. Now, nine times out of ten, he can have this for a snack after he is done teaching and all of the kids are eating snacks. Or he'll have it in the morning. So this is all we picked. This is all I packed. Not we, because he didn't. <laughs> But this is all I packed for his lunch. And then I also threw in a bag of Cheez-Its just as a little something more. But I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you tomorrow.